Now, the word is not the Bible next to your bed between two covers. That is not the word that's the Bible. It is not the Bible that brings faith. Now, don't stumble. I'm going to teach you something. It is not hearing the Bible which is going to give you faith, but hearing the word. Now, the Bible says the word is in our heart and in our mouth. Where is the word? Not next to your bed between two covers. That is your Bible. Huh? What is the difference? Say to the guy next to you, that is your Bible. You can put it next to your bed, you can open it, and believe the devil is going to read it, read it and get a fright and do whatever you want to do. That is not where the Bible must be. It's not going to help you anything. Listen, I'm going to tell you another, another thing, and you're going to disagree maybe and stumble. No one ever got faith by just reading his Bible. No one ever got saved by only reading his Bible. What do I say? This that is between these two covers, next to your bed, is not going to do anything for you. This needs to get into your heart. If this is in your heart, this is, produces faith. Now listen again. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing. Say hearing. 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 Interesting, not, not reading. <laughs> it doesn't say faith comes by reading. As faith comes by hearing. You can only hear the word of God through the mouth of another person. That's why the gospel, the Holy Spirit, and everything concerning the gospel is given from one man to another man to another man to another woman to another man to another woman from generation to generation. It does not, faith does not come by reading. Faith comes by hearing from the mouth of someone who's got this in his heart. I know you do not have it yet. Don't worry, you're going to get it now. The Bible by itself can do nothing. But the Bible in the heart of a man or a woman produces fruit. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing God's word. Say, not the Bible, God's word. What do I, what's the difference between the Bible, and, the Bible and the word? The word is something, it is spirit. The spirit of the Bible that is living in the heart of men and women. This is the kingdom of heaven. Living in the heart of men and women. The Bible next to your bed is meaningless Unless it is received into the heart of a human being, it cannot produce fruit. By itself, it can do nothing. Like faith by itself. Faith cannot stand by itself. Faith should rest on something. Faith is resting in God's word. Faith you can have in God only. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let me tell you, I'm going to prove for years, some of you have been sitting in churches and listening to the Bible, and you went to the Sunday school. Why didn't you get saved? The word in a heart of a man or a woman that lived that word, that believed that word and lived that word. Say, believing is doing. Again, believing is doing. Again, believing is doing. The book of James is saying, show me your faith, I show you my deeds. I show you by my deeds, I will show you my faith. Say to the guy next to you, I will show you by my deeds, I will show you my faith. So faith without deeds is a dead thing. Many, me included, have sitting as a child in Sunday school. It was good stories, but it did not change my life. Later on, I did not go to church many times, but... Um, I also went sometimes to churches at funerals and weddings up to the age of 26 when I met Jesus. Then I was in church every Sunday. Amen. Before 26, I also heard the Bible from many mouths of people who were not anointed by God. How do people get anointed? 
That's a question. Boom, boom. How do people get anointed by the Holy Spirit? When they take the word and they got an awesome desire to apply this word to their lives, this is inspired by the Spirit. The moment you start to, to implement the word of God, the anointing will start to rest on you. To the degree that you implement the word of God, to that degree, that anointing, the anointing will be on you. The word is getting implemented when it is in your heart, not in your mind. The Bible is a book, letter, Q, but the spirit of the Bible gives life. Say the letter Q, a Q, but the spirit gives life. What spirit? The spirit of the Bible. I know many, many old people who have read the word. They even know the Bible from cover to cover. Better than many preachers. But they are dead. They took hold of the Bible and never applied it to their lives. It is all in their heads. It's not in their hearts. So the Bible is meaningless to them. When does the Bible become the word? When you take the Bible and you, you got a desire to live the Bible, to implement it in your life, the moment you start to apply the Bible in your life, that is when the Bible becomes the word in the heart of a man or a woman. And this person becomes a testimony. 